Hello. My name is Daniel Slutsky. I'm recording this video because I received the funding for Q3 2024 by the Closure is Together organization funding open source closure projects. I'm a community organizer at the Cyclops community, the community, the group of closure people working on data science tools and libraries. And uh, it is the second time I'm receiving this funding and I'm really grateful for this, uh, for the whole uh, Closure is Together team and especially Kathy Davis has been so helpful in the last few weeks. And also I'm grateful for the regular funding I'm receiving from Nubank. In this video, I'll share a little bit of the plans, trying to give a decent picture of why this is a special time for us at Cyclodge. And, and my hope is that, you know, maybe this discussion will encourage you to provide your feedback and also maybe to create beginnings of collaborations. So yeah, I'm one of these uh, projects I mentioned here, Cyclodge is the name of the project. And uh, Cyclodge is this closure group we mentioned, it exists for uh, a little more than five years and it is developing open source software, but also, also uh, uh, the social side of data science in closure, which means, you know, providing anything humans need to grow in this field, which is, of course, not so popular yet. And when we are talking about data science, technically, we are talking about different kinds of practices, data processing, data visualization, the different kinds of tooling which are necessary for that, high performance computing, math, statistics, numerical computing, machine learning, and so on. And uh, uh, we will mention a few of these a little more in a moment. Uh, let us go through this uh, announcement of the plan, which is, of course, a tentative plan that will evolve dynamically. And the way we do that is, as a group, the Cyclodge group, continually discusses our plans. And I'm, as a community organizer at Cyclops, I'm doing whatever I can to uh, follow the group goals as much as they are understood for our discussions. And yeah, so the main thing mentioned here in, in this announcement is the Nodge project. Nodge is short for Synodge. It is an entry point. It is an entry point for the, the uh, main recommended libraries for data science in closure. Yeah, so um, uh, it, was, it is one of the repos you'll find under the Cyclosh organization. And by the way, not all organization, not all uh, repos for Cyclosh projects are under the Cyclosh organization simply because a few community members prefer to use another space to manage their code, but still they are in tight collaboration with the group. And so let us see Nodge here. So, right, so this is Nodge. And oh, actually we have the main documentation page open. So you see Nodge has this list of underlying libraries, which are in a way, an opinionated list of the main libraries for data and science, you know, data processing, high performance computing, data visualization, statistics, math, machine learning, interop, and so on. And Nodge is basically nothing more than that. And an emerging set of documents which are going to tell the story of the ways these libraries are combined. And the goal is to make things finally beginner friendly in a way that there is some harmony around the uses of different pieces of the story and there is a clear place to look for answers and examples. And that's the goal of Nodge. And at the moment, it is alpha stage. Intentionally, it is exposing some snapshot versions and branches under development because we want the community to see 
where things are going. And the goal is to stabilize this in a few weeks. And a lot of my attention these days is around that. And all of this is a group project. Many people are involved, including the a few of the legendary people who have been there forever, but also many new friends who are becoming involved and becoming so helpful in this group effort. And maybe this stabilization of knowledge is an important moment for us at Cyclos because yes, finally, we believe things can be made more easy to, to enter and to, to grasp from an early beginning, uh, from a newcomer perspective. And uh, let us just mention a few of the re relevant libraries here. So one of them is FA, FastMap. FastMap is not a new project, has been there long before Cyclog, but uh, now nowadays it comes closer to version three and mostly the remaining part after uh, lots of new functions it got is uh, the, the uh, documentation, which is, uh, really becoming really uh, fabulous with you know these uh, visual uh, examples and so on. So uh, hopefully in a few weeks this will be ready and released as version three. This is fast map. And another thing is MetamorphML, this uh, machine learning uh, platform. And you see MetamorphML uh, has this a notion of a pipeline that is kind of behind these ergonomics for machine learning in Clojure. And this allows to bring Clojure composability to uh, machine learning workflows in a very refreshing way, I believe. And it is another important piece, which is going to, you know, under development and is going to receive some new um, uh, nice features. Another one is, of course, Tablecloth, which is this table processing library. and you're encouraged to look into the docs of tablecloth, uh, which are so nice, I believe. And um, another one uh, here is Hanami cloth, which is a new thing about data visualization. And um, you see it provides this way to create uh, visual plots with a layer like API. And it is not stable yet, but it should stabilize in a few weeks, and it is in a way our short-term plan for data visualization APIs at Cyclot. Later on, we'll talk about the longer-term plans, which are maybe a bit more exciting. And so this is Nodge, and a lot of the effort will be around documenting Nodge and making the storytelling of its docs as clear as possible. Another big thing which is happening is the Cyclog Open Source Mentoring uh, Program. And this began three weeks ago. And since then, 33 people have joined this program where we are offering support for Clojureans who wish to get involved in open source. And out of these 33, 29 people are still actively uh, uh, participating in that. We meet regularly, usually on one-on-one -on -one meetings, sometimes in teams. We have five mentors. Really, uh, I'm grateful for a few wonderful people who have offered their help on this. And it is already looking really promising. Really, it allows us as the Cyclos group to really think differently about open source collaboration. Finally, there is this expansion of the group of people who are um, uh, be helpful in you know everyday features and documentation and additional experiments and so on and at least for now uh, i believe it will really transform us as a group and allow us to do more and also to do things in you know you know in a uh, more in open minded way that allows us to enjoy more opinions and visions and uh, i'm so hopeful for that and on my side, a lot of my effort as a community organizer is around this project. Really, really many, many, many meetings every week with many, many wonderful people who are participating in this program. And you may uh, use this page with a, uh, this uh, repo with additional resources that uh, try to give uh, an 
up-to-date dynamic picture of where this project is going. And the list of project is not comprehensive, but it is trying to give an idea of what a new uh, friend may join and do as a cyclops collaborator. Yeah, so this is uh, this transformative program, which is transforming us as cyclops and also probably the, uh, influencing some other people in the closure community, I hope. Another thing which is, you know, more of our regular way of cyclops is the study groups. And, you know, um, we have been running different groups. Nowadays, there are five groups which are active, more or less. Every meetup of these study groups is trying to be a safe space where people can get confused together and learn together and explore and, you know, also share the troubles and doubts and everything that a Clojurian may have and also create new collaborations, collaborations. So very often crafting a study group meetup is, is a process that allows us to allow different people to meet. And, and you know, we try to schedule it so that uh, uh, new people can meet uh, for the first time and, and create new collaborations. And uh, there will be more of that in the coming period. Maybe the most important one of these study groups is the real world data group where uh, uh, you see uh, people meet and discuss their problems at work, experiences, success stories from work, but also troubles and doubts and beginnings and experiments, and uh, also some open source projects. So you're encouraged to reach out if you're interested in joining this group and the others. Yeah, so these are the study groups. And and yeah, I must say both about both about the men mentorship program and the study groups. I think the huge amount of attention we are putting into this as a group is resulting from our understanding that growing a data science ecosystem is also a social project because it requires the diversity of voices and people of different backgrounds and different fields of study. And uh, without that, uh, an ecosystem for data cannot grow healthy. And, and really, really, we, we know by our experience of a few years that people need support and stay in a safe space in order to become part of a group. And we, I think we are doing that across many time zones and cultures and interests and so on. And that will keep being a major part of our attention as a group. A few other uh, projects are mentioned here. There are projects around tooling. Clay is a notebook tool that is used for uh, the most part of our uh, documentation at Cyclos. You see many projects are documented using Clay, including the fabulous uh, FastMath, uh, upcoming FastMath documentation we've seen earlier. And Clay is not only a documentation tool that allows to create those, you know, books and notebooks and uh, slideshows and so on. It is also a dynamic tool for exploration that tries to flow with the repel, you know, with this usual spirit of evaluating little things and making things visible step by step. And a few of us are working on Clay itself with a few new friends which, who are joining this project. And uh, you see, it, uh, it allows for uh, many, many, many data visualization types and, uh, and all kinds of uh, experiences around making them compose well with each other. And another project worth mentioning is Kindly, which is about standardizing the way data visualizations are expressed. And this is important because we want the tutorials and books you are writing using Clay to be usable from within other tools. So ideally, gradually more tools are getting used to using the kindly convention. And then what it means is that a person picking up a tutorial written in clay, for example, may pick up another tool and just use the tutorial in that tool without any code change. So that is kindly, which is being developed uh, alongside clay uh, 
in a kind of tight relationship between them. And there are a few other libraries uh, under development. Maybe, maybe the one I'll mention now is the coming grammar of graphics library, which is, um, um, you know, an attempt to create a more comprehensive experience of using closure and the closure spirit for visualizing data in, a, in an easy and simple way. The Hanami cloth library is the short term plan that should stabilize soon, but the, G, the grammar of graphics project, which is inspired by the famous ggplot library of, an, of another language, this project is a more ambitious project that will take time and slow thinking and a gradual development of of its API. Of course, there is also the maintenance of the Cyclot website and so on, and, and, and the other forms we keep our own knowledge. So this is a current overview of the tentative plan. I will stress again that even though I'm working on all of the all the projects mentioned here, for a few of them, there are uh, many other people involved, and for a few of them, I'm not the main maintainer of the project. And also, I'll stress again that all of this is being planned in a group process. And anyway, we are also looking for your feedback and your collaborations on any of these projects mentioned. So if any, anything here seems interesting or, or worth discussing, it would be lovely if you reach out. And if you wish to use any of these in your organization, business or other, it will be of great help as well, because we need to see more use cases for these tools and libraries. Many thanks again for the Closure is the Weather team and uh, Kathy and everybody. And uh, I hope to hear your feedback and best wishes to you all and, and to see you on our meetups and so on.